Hi everybody, Connie here. I'm getting ready to do an altered bottle. So, I've come out to my storage unit to dig through some of my linen stashes to see if I could find anything to use on a pretty bottle. Here's a little pile of goodies I've assembled. This here it kind of looks like a little uh, baby blouse. It has wonderful, wonderful vintage lace. It's got little sleeves in the back. It has some snaps. I might use that. I don't know. It's kind of a shame. That's a pretty nice piece to be tearing apart. There's a cute little doily I found. It's about a two and a half inch round. This is a real nice piece of old lace here I found. I don't know what that came off of. Here's another nice old piece of something I can maybe use. I ran across this. This is part of a lamp part. I found this little box. It's an old box. It says handkerchiefs. That's not really a handkerchief. It's some kind of round doily. But underneath it is an old handkerchief. And there's a thing that says mother. It's gold shiny. I might use that. I have a handkerchief somewhere that says mother. So I could do a mother altered bottle. This is a nice little handkerchief that's got some tatting around the edges. Here's a little stash of beaded flowers I've had for a while. It's possible I can incorporate these into my altered bottle. They're pretty nifty. Vintage. I found a roll of this stuff. I have no idea what it's for. I doubt if I'll use it on a bottle. but It's some kind of trim. And somewhere in here I had another little thing. I might use, I think it, oh, here's an old, here's an old handmade flower with a little baby in the middle of it. Isn't that sweet? Okay, I'll show you <laughs> what my bottles look like before I touch them. Although the first bottle that's here on top, I found it the other day and I've already washed it. I like it because it has the long neck on it. But these others here, there's just a box of them. They've been in storage since 1979. I read the date on one of the newspapers. I like this old bottle because it still has the cap on it. And what I like to do, I have found, is turn the bottle upside down, the bottle cap upside down, and glue it and then put something inside the lid. That way, the cap and bottle stay together. Anyhow, there's a box of old bottles. And over here is the stash of linens I rummaged through. As you can see, I only picked out just a little handful of stuff. I had them stored in this barrel. Airtight. It used to have citrus juice in it. I've got one, two, three, three more.
bins plus a couple other around here somewhere. Thanks for looking.